Okay, before we get into backwashing our uh, first backwashing our system, uh, I did want to uh, let you know this this particular video does not discuss the programming of the valve, but I did want to show you this little legacy app, which is how I'm going to actually force the um, regeneration of this valve. Basically, you can uh, download this app, and uh, it's Bluetooth. And uh, it'll locate what filter, you know, if you have several filters, it'll list the different filters. But in this case, I've only got the one. All right, so it's kind of neat. It comes up and it shows our uh, little uh, window of all of our different settings. Um, so what we're going to do now is go into the regeneration process. So I'm going to start with a backwash. So when you have a new system like this, you need to perform the backwash rapid rinse cycle on the media several times just to get all the fine dust and particles out of the media. So the first thing I'm going to do again is verify we are in the bypass mode. All of our other filter systems are in bypass mode and there is no water going to the house. We're basically going to be blowing fine particulate out, out of this into the vent, into the drain. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply pressure and kind of check for leaks here, make sure there's no leaks going to the inlet valve. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go into the regen process. So I'm going to go push this button here that says regen now. Click OK. And it's going to go into cycle one. That's basically the air release. Uh, we're not going to need that right yet. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the next regen step. Okay, now as you can see on the screen, we're going into cycle two. This is the... So now we're in the backwash mode. This is timing, timed out and set for 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is slowly open the inlet of this bypass valve. Very slowly. What we're going to do is take any air bubbles out of the tank, and we're going to start to see stuff come out of this. We don't want to blast the valve open because you'll end up taking some of that media and actually shoving it up through the valve. So what we're trying to do is slowly take all of that fine dust out. So what we'll do is we just start slowly opening the valve and wait a couple of minutes. You know, watch, watch what's coming out of here. Eventually the air pump bubbles will stop and you'll just see particulate. So the idea here is we keep flowing until we don't see any particulate and you're just seeing like a dark gray, uh, light black, dark gray color where you're not seeing like what's granular or anything like that. Um, the other suggestion is, is during that 10 minutes, you don't know the different size tanks take different times, different amounts of time. So what we would suggest at this point, when this thing gets down to about three minutes, four minutes or so, just go ahead and unplug the valve and make it stay there. Uh, basically what you don't want to do is you don't want to go into the rest period step three or the air replenish step four. For this first cycle you only want to go backwash and then you want to do the rapid rinse for the six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead at this point and unplug this. That saves it from not going into the next cycle. And we're just going to take, like I said, this can take five minutes, it can take five hours. It, it just depends on how big a tank it is and 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 you know how much fine particle but you want you want to just blast all that fine particles out of there right now so you're just going to do this until you know you can see the water changing and it's not that dark black you can you can see the change it'll it, it'll go from being silty to just colored water okay once you've done a good back flush on there go ahead and plug the unit back in And there again, it'll continue the countdown. But you want to bypass, before you get to step three and step four, you want to bypass it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and force it into step five, which is the rapid rinse. So I'm going to click the Regeneration Now button. I'm going to hit OK. OK, we'll go ahead and go to the next regen step. Again, we're going to bypass three and four and we'll go right into five. Okay, now again, this will go for six minutes. You're flowing water in through the system and you're watching it come out your vent line. So now after your six minutes times down, 
you'll go back into the standard operation mode. So now you're going back between the time that's left to regenerate and the time. So what we want to do now is open the outlet valve on the bypass valve. And now what we're doing is we're bringing pressure up through the system over to the hose bib. So that's why we wanted to install the hose bib. So now what we want to do is basically open the hose bib and we want to flow water out of here. And as we're flowing water out of here, we want to look and sample it, put it in our hand or a cup, and just kind of flush through things and see where we end up with. You may want to run this for several minutes, uh, maybe even up to an hour. Um, it just depends on what the system size that you have and, and your water quality.